Hey y'all, my name is Dayton Stamey with ApplianceProfit.com. Uh, I just want to jump on just for a minute today uh, to, to talk about something that uh, people ask a lot of times. Should I uh, use home warranty companies or should I work for home warranty companies with my appliance repair business? That's a very good question. Um, kind, of, kind of difficult to answer. Uh, because you see, I, I know in the very beginning, when, whenever you're starting your appliance repair business, uh, you wanna do everything that you can to try to get as much business as possible. Because uh, you know, whenever you're first starting off, I mean, you probably don't really have uh, many people ringing the phone, so you're, you're just looking for work. So it's kind of like a yes and no answer. Um, whenever, whenever, whenever I started my appliance repair business 17 years ago, uh, of course, I, I wanted everybody that I could absolutely get. I wanted, uh, uh, you know, home warranty companies. I wanted every, it, just anybody that would ring my phone and let me come and repair their appliance and then pay me money for it. That's who I wanted as my customer because I, I needed the customers. I needed to make the money in order to be able to grow the business, sustain the business, be able to pay the bills. I mean, let's just be, let's just be real. Uh, we're in this to make money. I mean, uh, uh, I, I, I enjoy doing it. It's, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing. I, I, I like doing it, but I mean, let's be real. We got to make money, okay? Um, so, you know, it's, it, uh, doing work for home warranty companies is kind of like a double-edged sword. Because the reason why I say that is because in my experience, uh, some of the home warranty companies, for, uh, some of them can take a long time to pay. Okay, some of, them, uh, some of them will mail you a check. That can take two weeks, three weeks, a month sometimes before you ever get your money. Some of them pay credit card. Now, we, we still have one or two that we deal with still today only because they pay credit card, and we, and we, we like that. I mean, so we go out there, we, do, we run the call, we, we call it in, we get approval. They're really good about approval, too. They, they approve a lot of our repairs. So we call it in, we get approval for the repair, and um, as soon as we're done, they're, they're paying with a credit card. I'm talking about the same day, they will pay you with a credit card. That I don't mind. What I don't really so much like is waiting two and three and four weeks to get your money. I mean, you know, for us, you know, now, now that we're more established, we're, we're uh, you, you know, we, we've got, you know, a flow of revenue coming in, uh, good, good cash flow coming in. It's okay to wait a month, you know, but I mean, really, technically, really nobody wants to wait on their money, really. But I, I mean, I guess it's okay whenever you get, the, once you get that flow of income. But see, here's, here's the question. You wanting to start off that way is kind of difficult, you know, or, or, or here's a statement. You want to start off that way is a little bit difficult because you don't really have the cash flow coming in. Uh, you know, so it's like, are you willing to wait two and three and four weeks for your money to come in? Um, you know, I, I mean, so that, that's something that you really have to answer for yourself. So not only is the time, uh, you know, a, a, a big barrier because sometimes you have to wait for your money, but also sometimes they don't pay. I, I've had I've had several companies where they did not pay us. Uh, I mean, period, and and they would come up with some type of excuse. Well, we don't we didn't cover that or whatever the case might be, and 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 it doesn't matter what you do, they're not gonna pay you. You know, um, uh, so you know you've got that you've got the aspect of waiting for your money. Then you got the the you got the other side of it to where sometimes they just don't even pay you for whatever reason. They can just come up and say for, you know any reason they want to and just not pay you. And the other side of things is. We use a flat rate guide, and I, I, I recommend that everybody uses a flat rate guide. Um, and, and if you want to learn more about that, I, I, I've, I've got a course uh, at, appliance, uh, at applianceprofit.com forward slash start. If you, I, I, actually, I'll have a link in the description below. Just click on that. It'll bring you right there. And that course will show you everything of, of how we, we brought our company from zero uh, to a seven-figure appliance repair company, uh, if that's something you're interested in. Uh, but, um, but you see, we, so we use a flat rate guide. And uh, that's, that's how you make the, the most possible money in your business. That's how you grow, or I feel like, or that's how I've grown in my business from zero to seven figures was through a flat rate guide. Um, doing the time and material model for us, eh, it didn't really work that great. Uh, time and material model, you don't really make as much money. Um, and some home warranty companies, they, they will not accept flat rate pricing. They want you to break everything down and they want you to have, and, and they want to pay you they 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 gauge how much they want to pay you. They they say, well, I, you know, I'll do a service charge, and I'm only given so much for the part, and I'm only given so much time for labor because we feel like that's how much time it should take. Uh, well, you know, I, I don't I don't like that. You know, I, my, my my I got my system in my company, and we know how much we need to make, and, we, and we've got everything figured out, you know, to a T. 
and I need to make what I need to make. So if your if your home warranty company works that way to where they're going to pay me how much they feel like the time is worth, then you know it's, it's just not for me. Um, somebody else can take them, that's fine, but it just ain't for me um, because I, I, I need I need my company at a certain level in order to be able to maintain my guys and the vans and the office staff and all that other good stuff. You know all the overhead. Um, so that's kind of a double-edged sword. Whether or not you want to work with home warranty companies, uh, you know, is, is really, uh, it's, that's, that's, that, that's kind of a tough little spot there. Me personally, I'm very picky about who I work with. Um, you might've seen some other videos, but uh, when, when, you know, we, we've, got a, we've got a process, it's called the three C's, and the first, the first C of the process is customer. Um, my customer, I, I know who my, uh, my ideal customer is. And so I'm very picky with my, I'm very picky with my customers in general. So I'm also very picky with the home warranty companies that I'm willing to work for because of that very reason. You know, if they can't pay me what we need to get paid, uh, then I, I can't work with them. Which brings me to another, another, uh, thing. It's not really a home warranty company, but it is it, working for the manufacturers. So, so uh, two of the ma major ones that, well, actually three of the major ones that we work for, LG, Samsung, and Whirlpool. We work for all three of them. That's, that's our, mo our, our biggest ones. So Samsung paid like uh, $90. Uh, Whirlpool paid like $88. And actually, to believe it or not, LG paid $150. That's kind of surprising. We, we, we really haggled with them, got them up there. But uh, Samsung 90 and, and uh, Whirlpool 88. And you know what that means? That means you every time they call you for a call, you get ninety dollars or eighty-eight. You know, whoever calls you, you get ninety dollars for the entire call. So if you go out today, you see that the Samsung ice maker needs the service kit. Okay, well they're going to pay you eighty-eight dollars for the first trip and the second trip. Okay, you don't get paid extra. It's just eighty-eight dollars. That that is it, um, uh, or, or or ninety, whichever one was it. Both close enough. Uh, Whirlpool the same way. Um, they call you out there for whatever the case might be, a dryer, and, and if you have to order parts and come back, you only get that that number. That's all you get, and you and and of course you got to wait till the end of the call. You know, once the once the appliance is repaired to get that money, and it's not very much. And even worse, uh, even worse, Whirlpool and Samsung and LG, they all paid like net thirty, so they'll pay you one time a month. And let me promise you. They all are very difficult to deal with. They will reject you for any reason at all. I mean, you, you'll expect, uh, you know, if you did $1,000 worth of work for that month, you'll expect to see $1,000. And we'd be lucky sometimes to see five or $600. And, and, and our office staff would have to fight tooth and nail, fight and say, why was this rejected? Why, why? And they would eventually sometimes get it sorted out. Some of them wouldn't get paid for, period. We haven't gotten paid for at all. And they say, you know, this is the reason why we rejected it and we're not going to pay you. So guess what? I, we, we are still listed as an authorized service center for them, but we don't actually go out and actively do their, their warranty work. Not much. We would, would do one, one or twice here and there, but, but just because of that reason, we got to get paid. You need to get paid. Okay. Um, so whether or not you deal with, uh, home warranty companies or manufacturers, that's completely up to you. But I'm going to tell you what, if you can get those regular residential customers, just people, regular people, um, that are paying you outside of warranty, that is your best customer. And, um, and, and like I said, we, we, we teach that process, the three C's, is customer charge and your crew. Um, but that, I, I, that, that's another video. We, we're not, we're not going to touch that in this video. But if you want to learn how, if you already own an appliance repair business and you want to, and, and maybe you're stuck at a certain level, maybe you're stuck at $100,000 a year and you want to try to get to $500,000 a year or whatever the case might be, if, if, you're, if you're stuck where you are right now and you want to get to that next level in your business, if you go to applianceprofit.com forward slash start, we got a course right there. And as a matter of fact, if you're just looking because you're, you're wanting to, to maybe start your own appliance repair business, we have a whole separate course. If you just go again to applianceprofit.com forward slash start, you'll, you'll be directed in the right direction to, to find that course for a startup. And, 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 and we can show you exactly how to take your business, which can either be non-existent from zero to a, a seven figure appliance repair business. Or maybe, like I said, maybe you already have a business and you might be at a quarter of a million dollars a year and you're just trying to get up to $500,000 uh, $500, a year or a million dollars a year. We can help you do that. Go on over to applianceprofit.com forward slash start. I'll put a link in the description below. All you gotta do is click on it and it'll bring you right there where you need to go. Look forward to seeing you there.